What's going on guys? Corey here with Xbox Tavern with another review. This week I'm taking a look at Pizza Possum. Pizza Possum came out of nowhere for me and I've absolutely loved my time with it. Sometimes you just need a good, short, fun game to get going and break up the monotony of these big AAA grim type shooter games that you may be playing. So definitely don't pass this one up based off the name or the looks. Essentially what Pizza Possum is, is a hide and seek game where you, the possum, are trying to get all the way to the top of the village to eat the king's pizza. To do this, you have to eat whatever you can find, whether that's pizzas, cakes, vegetables, fruits, just laying around on the ground. And as you eat these, they translate to points. After so many points, you get a key to unlock a gate. And as you start on this island, kind of at the lowest level, this village, you will have a linear progression of gates, but you will soon have the options to go in various directions. So your job is to just eat, 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 and get as many points as you can, unlocking keys to unlock gates to further yourself up the village to your ultimate goal of eating this pizza. Now, what makes this challenging? Well, there are patrolling guard dogs in all of the areas. Some of them are fast, some of them are a little slower, some of them just alert other guards to you. And in order to avoid them, you have to not be seen or when you are seen, run around real quickly to get out of their line of sight and hide in a bush uh, or something like that so you don't get caught. If you do get caught, you get taken back to whatever checkpoint you may have. As you go along the route, you'll find little caves and you'll plant your flag kind of as a checkpoint so you can kind of go back to that point in time and try again. Now, you're gonna find it may be a little difficult to once you get higher up because there are more guards, the areas might be a little bit more tight so you can't get around them as easily, but don't fear because after every time you do a run and every time you get caught, any of the points that you have accumulated will go towards a counter and after so many points, you will unlock an item. And on these runs are gonna be floating boxes. When you pick up these boxes, they will give you a random item that you have unlocked in this progression tree, I'll call it. These items are only there to help you. So the first few that you will encounter are a vial of something that you drink and you become really fast for a short period of time. Then you're gonna come across these crossing guard road blockers, whatever they are, and they kind of stop the guards in their track. So if they're following you, lay some behind you and they'll kind of have to go around it or they'll just stop all together, things like that. So as you progress throughout the game, these items are going to become more and more powerful for you and they're gonna help you get to your ultimate goal. Now the thing with Pizza Possum and getting to your ultimate goal of eating the pizza, you may think that that is the end goal. Well, you will quickly become intrigued because they say something spectacular happens when you collect three crowns when you get a which is when you eat a pizza you get that king's crown then you start the run over again and you are wearing that crown and that crown has a little side ability that kind of scares guards temporarily but you are now intrigued with getting three of those and they make it a little bit more challenging by whenever you get caught on your second or third run that crown is taken away and you have to start from the beginning th you need three in a row you cannot get caught on your second or third run to get this absolutely spectacular ending. I will not spoil that one bit. You need to play this game to find that ending out. But yeah, that is the game. This is a short experience. It's probably not gonna take you longer than four hours. I think that's about where I ended up. And that's me getting the spectacular ending and going back and grinding out points to get all of the items that were left to get uh, because uh, I just had to see what they were. And they do give you some incredible abilities in order to make the runs easier. Proud to say I didn't need that many to get to the top, but had I needed more, I would have had an easier time the longer I played the game. Uh, and that's a good thing about this game is no matter if you had a bad run or a good run and you didn't quite make it, uh, you're still always gathering points to unlock these items. So there was a sense of progression that kind of never left until I was completely done with the game. 
So two thumbs up from me for Pizza Possum. Again, guys, this is something that is a short, fun experience, and it's kind of what I call a palate cleanser for gaming. So take that for what you will. Also want to mention this game has co-op. I have not had the pleasure of playing with anybody in particular for a co-op partner, but it looks like they add a raccoon possibly. I don't know. It sounds like a fun time. So even your friend can get in on the action as well, but... That will do it for me for Pizza Possum. If you are not on xboxtavern.com, be sure to go there. Check out my score for this game, as well as our other reviews. That'll do it for me for now. I'll see you in the next review.